Millie. How are you? Just fine, Susan. So nice to be out here with you this morning. I, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's just and you look fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks for meeting with me today. My pleasure. I want to talk to you today about a topic that I think that you could probably share with a lot of people your age. And by the way, if you don't mind me asking an indelicate question, what is your age? 84. Okay, well, you look fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, as an 84-year-old woman, um, have you, uh, first of all, are you married? No, unfortunately, I'm widowed. Okay. And when did your husband pass away? Well, I lost my second husband. Uh, it will be nine years in the year 2000. He died the year 2000. It will be nine years, 2009. And since that time, um, have you been involved in any other relationships with any gentlemen? Well, when you say involved or have I dated, there's a difference, you know. What's the difference? Difference being, I have my own home. I come and go as I please. Yes, I've dated. One of the gentlemen who had similar likes it because he both, we both sang and performed together, did a lot of shows together for various institutions and hospitalized people and he wrote music and we did the numbers together but unfortunately he passed away not too long ago. And did you meet him while you were doing acting and singing? Yes, he heard me sing and I heard him sing and I complimented him and he complimented me and with this he said how about a cup of coffee and I said fine and then he was a member of SAG mm -hmm. having been in many movies and sitcoms. So we did a lot of movies and red carpets together. It was a lot of fun. Great. What song were you singing when he complimented you? I'm not sure, but it could have been one of my favorite all times. I've done many times. Uh, I write the words, the music. Can I hear it just a little bit of it, please? I've been alive forever. I wrote the very first song. I put the words and the melody together. I am music and I write the song. That's beautiful. So the relationships that you have had since your last husband passed away, you've only been looking for platonic type of relationships and Strictly companionships? platonic, a hug, a kiss, a nice evening. You go your way, and I'll go my way. So you haven't been looking to get married again? No. Not really, no. So, Millie, you said that right now the relationships that you have from your part are strictly platonic. So how do the gentlemen that you date feel about that? They've accepted it. If they want my companionship, it's, I guess it's on a terms that I have made. I mean, I'm not about to have anything other than platonic on the stage. I mean, I don't feel that way about them. Perhaps had I had stronger feelings, but I like them as dear friends, and uh, go out and enjoy an evening, and that's the way it's been. The two gentlemen that you had been seeing simultaneously, right now, um, as a coincidence, I guess, they're both in skilled nursing facilities, right? Well, one, unfortunately, is diabetic, and I'm afraid to say he's in his own worst enemy, and eating the wrong things, but I'm not his caretaker. I can only suggest maybe he should have too much sugar, but you know, until it struck with a sore on his foot and in denial, but now he's having a lot of problems. And he's out of the hospital, but he is in a, a assisted living, or actually a care, or you know, where they take care of him until he can go home. And uh, the other gentleman, unfortunately, had pneumonia, He's out of the hospital, and he also is in a, if I understand it, where he, so he's completely recuperated. But uh, that's the way it goes. It's just so a coincidence. How does it feel having um, the attention of two gentlemen at one time and now not having that at all? Well, I do get the phone calls. That I do. But uh, it's lonely. I mean, when you're used to going out and on Saturdays, dancing and etc., and you don't want to be a burden to your children. It's lonely when you're by yourself, and I don't wish that on anyone. 